All right, now moving on to droplet precaution. Just let the name help you here. Think about droplets in the air, like when someone sneezes and all those droplets and particles go in the air. Students get confused all the time between droplet and airborne precautions here. So we made some memory tricks. So let's start with droplet. Just think for droplet, you are dropping a low rider, or basically a car, really low. Like that old TV show, Pimp My Ride on MTV. So we use the acronym PIMP for droplet precautions. So P is for pertussis, that whooping cough. I is for influenza, basically the flu. Now the next one is M for meningitis. That is a big one. This one always comes up on the NCLEX because we see it so often in clinical practice. And it's often very deadly. Now P is for pneumonia. This one always comes up too. So remember this, P is for pneumonia. We want to prevent droplets here. Now write this down. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top-tested need-to-know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com. For PPE, we have a surgical mask and goggles, as well as a gown and always gloves. But what always comes up is surgical mask and goggles or even face shield. Now, secondly, you should also write this down. Always put these clients in a single room. Never double them up with other clients because this can spread infection here. Now, let's just say we have two clients with the same infection. Let's just say both clients have influenza, the common flu. Then we always choose the least infectious first here. If one room or a single room is available, then use that single room. But if it's not, then yes, you can double them up. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.